Are you looking for attitude, maybe some sass? Well, you're going to get them both with my good buddy, Danielle Edge, right here on the Chris Top Program. The Top, broadcasting worldwide on iHeartRadio and Spreaker.com. Hello, fellow citizens. This is the latest in dork news from around the world. Those wacky potheads may not be as high as they think. They may have our milk money, but we still have all of our brain cells. Fellow dorks, never fear. Those mean girls who steal your bike every day are going to soon end up in jailsville. Let's see how life looks behind the slammer. Not so much fun making knives out of soap just to survive, is it, ladies? Remember, kids, be a dork, be proud, be hip. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either tap in the crystal program. I am the one and only Chris <laughs> You can either tap in the crystal program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy are and the did the did the was and that of that class back in 1970. We didn't know about the world wide web was a whole different game Been played back when I was a kid Wanna get down in a cool way Picture yourself on a beautiful day Big bell bottoms in cool long hair Just walking in style with a party full empty You can listen to the music on the crystal <laughs> Is the Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. You know, this Tennessee weather is just insane. Last week, literally, we had snow on the ground. I mean, not just a little, they were closing places down. It might be a little bit of snow if you're from someplace up north, but it was a lot of snow for us. And this week, I swear, you, or today you could go swimming. And yesterday was in, I think, the lower to mid-70s. I mean, it's just, it's insane uh, how this whole weather thing works. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't. I don't complain about it on days like, I, well, I rarely complain about it anyway. I mean, if it's raining, I stay inside. If it's cold, I stay warm. I mean, that's just what I do. And that's what you should do, too, and stop complaining about the weather all the time. Uh, today, we've got so much stuff uh, coming up on the program. If you'll go to the com, you'll see the rest of the lineup for the day. Uh, if, if you just tuned in, you missed the interview with Jenny Lynn, uh, so you'll want to go back and check that out. Uh, so we, we just got done with her. We're about to have Danielle Edge on the show, and then we're going to go right out of that into Larissa at 5 o'clock Central Time, and then Lacey at 6 o'clock. So... It's, it's a plethora of talent on my show, and I have to compensate somewhere because I'm, I fall short um, in the whole talent department. But I think a lot of these people that we're having on the show today are actually going to be at the CMA Fest in Nashville in June. We're going to be broadcasting live from B.B. King's uh, all three days on the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. And that's going to be from 11 a.m. until uh, 7 a.m., and that's when we'll wrap up the last interview. And uh, you could be one of the lucky ones. You could be one of the lucky ones uh, that we invite uh, to dinner uh, on the last night there on that Saturday night at BB King. So, and and it, and it, it's going to be a, a totally star-studded dinner too, with all kinds of talent there that, that are going to uh, join us. So, uh, I don't, we may come up with some kind of a content. I don't know. Um, it just uh, we'll see. We'll see how. It just depends on how I feel. I guess, or if I run out of um, meal vouchers from BB Kings, it has a lot to do with that as well. Uh, so stick around. We we've got uh, we've got Danielle Edge coming up, and you're gonna love. Her. I, I've I've only got one song from Danielle because she's still working on some of her other stuff. Uh, but you're gonna love. You're, you're gonna want to go out and run like seven miles when you hear this song. It's it's like it's like a melody of caffeine. It's it's really good. I don't know if that was a compliment. 
to the Chris Tom Program, working on being awesome worldwide. I am a true dork. See, I will admit it. Yes. See, there's the, I am. We use that as a term of endearment. Do your I'm Batman impression. Good. Oh, that's that's like Catwoman. Where did yeah, that come from? I don't know. What is that? That's the closest I can get. <laughs> Dorks of the world, unite. I have a picture, like a side-by-side picture of me next to a velociraptor, and uh, wow. we're making the exact same picture. That's impressive. Question, so it's like twins. <laughs> come rap on one of my songs. It'd be a good time. Just, oh, just give me a little bit. Yup, there goes gravity. Yup, there goes gravity. So- oh, gosh. <laughs> the Chris Top Program dot com. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can either tap in the Chris Top You are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. This is the Chris Top Program. And if you're listening on iHeart or if you're listening on Sketcher or one of 30 other sites, then you're listening to an archive show. So you need to come over to thechristopprogram.com sometime and listen to us live. And you can ask questions in the chat while we broadcast. So it's, it's really a lot of fun. But if you miss it live, then you can always tweet or Facebook or whatever it is you do. You can send smoke signals. I don't care uh, exactly what you do. Uh, now, I've got... Now, Danielle, I've got to yeah. ask you. I've got to ask you. Um, you have an attitude, you're sassy, um, and this is what your biography says, um, but this is, these are good things, I guess, when it comes to your style of music. I would say so. I mean, I like that I'm sassy. <laughs> you know, I guess. and I think it shows, uh, in your music and, and it's in a good way because I listen to, um, to your song. Um, I listen to, um, can't, uh, can't get out yeah. and, I swear, I just wanted to stand up and run like seven miles. I mean, it, it's like <laughs> I compared it to a melody of caffeine when I heard it. Can uh, you do that? Can you run seven miles? No, I can't. Um, oh. So it would probably kill me. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to actually strap myself down uh, when I listen to it so I don't attempt it. Uh, but it, it's good, and your, and your attitude does come through on the song. I mean, it, it, it leads me to believe that you wrote it, or did you write it? I did write it, yeah. Okay, so so we're not going to play it just yet. I'm going to tease everybody in just a little while, but um, can't get out. Like, where did this song come from? What, what's it about? Well, it, it actually started out as a true story, and uh, over time, like co-writing and rewriting, it, it's changed, obviously. I did not go to jail. Mm-hmm. I will just, you know, put that out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did, you know, run into this random cute country guy at a, a gas station and uh, got a few ideas in my head sure. just now, from that. Sure. Now, how often do you uh, do you sit down to actually write stuff, or does it just sneak up on you and you just stop what you're doing and write? How, how does that work? Um, sometimes you just have to stop everything you're doing and, and write a song. And other times, you know, I do make a point of trying to write. You know, I'm try- always trying to improve my skills, so I'll sit down if I'm co-writing you know, you actually make an appointment and sit and stare at each other for half an hour before <laughs> any act stick, you know? But, sure. Um, so a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Now, where um, where exactly are you from? I am in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Okay, I thought you were one of those crazy Canadians. So have, yeah. you, um, have you ever made your way down to the U.S., or do you have any plans to maybe head out um, toward one of the bigger cities like Nashville or L.A. or someplace like that for your music? I was in Nashville in December just for a week uh, to mm-hmm. do some writing down there. And I'm actually going to be back for another uh, six days or so um, at the end of March. So mm-hmm. just a couple weeks here. Oh, so sweet. I'm not sure if I'll move. I really like what's going on up here. We've got a really cool scene. Mm-hmm. Um, start here, build a following, and then see where that takes me. Right. Now, what genre would you classify your music? Because, I mean, you when you say Nashville, you know, you automatically think country. But, I mean, yours isn't country, from what I've heard. No, well, it is and it isn't. You know, uh-huh. I call it redneck rock. If anyone is familiar <laughs> with Blackjack Billy, that's what they call their stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought, you know, that's really the only thing. Because you've got all these rock guitars and melodies and stuff like that. But there's still the storytelling element that you find in country music. Um, and I grew up yeah. on both country and rock and punk rock. Like I was in a punk band when I was in college. And um, so I, I really have a lot of different influences. And so I think that's the only way to really describe it. Okay. Okay. So 
I wish uh, you were going to be out here during the CMA Fest. Would there be any plans to maybe come back in June, or are you are you done for a while after after? Um, I guess what'd you say in, in March? Yeah, in just a couple weeks, I'm coming yeah. down. Um, you know, I might be back in June. We'll see. I, I I'm very uh, spontaneous, and mm-hmm. that can be a good thing or a very bad thing sometimes. <laughs> but, um, now, see what you do. What you do is you get you a couple of paying gigs. Um, in June for the CMA Fest, and then you get all that exposure. Then you you come and you do my show live at BB Kings, and and you know you make some money, pay for your trip. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. So there, see, I, I mapped it out for you. All you have to do is do it now. So <laughs> all I gotta do is get some gigs. No <laughs> right. problem. No problem. No, uh, no. <laughs> now, now, are you coming down in a couple of weeks to to play or record or both? Um, to write, and also uh, like there's a song camp there. Um, I'll be joining. So. Uh, okay. This is a learning trip. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, if you happen to score a gig while you're in town, let me know because I'd love to come see you. Absolutely. Actually, last time I went down just to write, I ended up playing with a, a an artist I had met just that day. He said, hey, why don't you come on stage with my band? And I was like, sure. So oh, cool. That was yeah. cool. You never know what might happen. Yeah, it's Nashville. I mean, you, you could end up with, um, with several performances uh, before you go home, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm just right down the road. Uh, we're in uh, Clarksville, and it's like 45 minutes, so I could be there. Awesome. Yeah, so I, I would absolutely love to see you. I mean, spe- I want to I want to see if you're as good live as you are recorded because I, I love I love can't get out. I'm happy. It's and, a pretty cool song. Now, when are you going to have your other songs ready? Because I can't wait to hear them. Uh, well, I am in the studio right now, um, mm-hmm. and my producer works around the clock. He's uh, he won't tell me. He won't give me a date. Um, but we do have about five others recorded. Mm-hmm. Just uh, they're not finished. So I'm hoping very soon. Gotcha. So the, you can't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I'll tell him. But don't like tell to him. rush him. You know, it's, he, it's a masterpiece when he's done with it. So I just got to let it happen. <laughs> tell him Chris is losing his patience. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> but you will, you will get me those songs though, as soon as you finish them because I do want to hear them. I really do. Yeah, I will for sure. Sweet, sweet. Now, if if somebody want, or do you have anything up for sale yet, or are you still sort of in that process? I am definitely working on it. Okay. It is, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna be on iTunes within. I don't know. I would say hopefully this month. Oh, that's exciting! Let me know when that happens too, and I can maybe direct some people your way. For sure. Uh, now, as far as uh, the social networks and websites and stuff like that, um, where where can people find you? I am at DanielleEdge.com, mm-hmm. the main site, and then um, Reverb Nation, if you search Danielle Edge, um, Facebook, D Edge Music, or, yeah, I think that's the one. Um, Twitter, I'm not, I'm not very good at Twitter. I get on there occasionally and post, you know, my mm-hmm. thoughts of the day if I have some really strange things to say. <laughs> <laughs> do you, <laughs> often, part, I, do I, you often have strange things to say, or are you pretty normal? Well, you know, sometimes when you're traveling from town to town, you see some funny things and you just got to post them. Be like, sure. does anybody else find this weird? Like, <laughs> I I tweeted you today. Yeah. I did. But see, you probably don't know that because you don't check your, your Twitter a lot, I guess. Well, I can, I can check it right now. Well, you don't have to. I just, you can, you can take my word for it. I did tweet. See, we have to be Twitter buddies you're for life. Going to be F U N. I found you here. I'm going to retweet you right okay. now. See, I'm using Twitter. This See, we, is an, it's good. We have to be Twitter buddies for life. That that was actually in the contract when you signed it uh, to be on the show. Uh, did I sign a contract? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You fax. You, we had our lawyers get involved, and you um, you signed the contract. And right at the very bottom, in just really fine print, it said uh, you have to be Chris's Twitter buddy for life. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, I, I think I remember that now. Yeah. yeah right, exactly. And... Yeah. You can't can't forget <laughs> it's the important stuff. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Okay, now I've got a a question uh, for you. I'm, I'm just thinking about putting this. No, I don't want to put it off. Let's just go ahead and just let's just go for it. Um, okay, say you're performing somewhere. Um, say it's a it's a it's a fairly big event. I mean, have you performed in front of a lot of people before? Um, I wouldn't say thousands, but. So, so let's just say, let's just say it's thousands of people. Everybody's going crazy. Guys are throwing their shirts at you. You know, people are screaming. And, that happens um, when I play for five people, you know, but I have shirts and bras and, you know. So you've got a nice little collection of everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so at the, at the end, after, after everything just, you know, kind of blows over, uh, a, a little girl comes up to you and she says, Danielle, 
I really, really want to get into the business. You know, I really want to just give it my all. I love singing, um, and I, I just, I really want to want to get into it. What kind of advice would you would you have for? Her? Would you tell her to run, or would you? What, what would you tell her? Run in which direction? I'd say go for it. You know, yeah. if you want to.